Good morning, everybody. Pastor Joseph here. You are probably looking for this morning's worship service, and uh, I have some bad news and some good news. The bad news is, uh, since we're doing an outside service today, we don't have the streaming capability to bring you uh, this morning's worship service. So uh, that's the bad news. You won't be able to see what we do this morning for our book launch and for our worship service. The second thing, which is the good news, is you're going to get a little preview of what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, and the preview is this, that um, we're looking at the book of Revelation chapter 5, and uh, there is this image of who is able to right the ship who is able to fix the problems that human beings um, encounter in life. And um, the image that uh, John uh, hears from the angels is that only the Lion of Judah is able to open the scroll of God's destiny. And of course, the Lion of Judah refers to Jesus, it refers to the tribe of Judah, it refers to... Um, David and Jesus being of the line of David, the lineage and house of David, as we read in the Christmas stories. And uh, that got me to thinking about lions and about um, how uh, there needs to be a lot of comfort in this life. There needs to be, uh, um, you know, babies need comfort. Children that aren't comforted when they're small, they, they grow up uh, with attachment disorders. Um, and that follows us through life, even if we don't think it does. And um, what that caused me to think about is uh, when St. Anthony of Egypt, one of my favorite figures from Christian history, went out into the desert uh, to get away from the distractions of life, he was tempted by the sounds of wild animals trying to scare him, trying to make him afraid. Um, in his cell, in his cave, he could hear them at the door. He could hear them clawing at the door, trying to get in. He could, uh, he, he had visions of wild animals. We don't encounter that too much anymore these days, but um, maybe because we don't talk spiritually or we don't hide out in the desert. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, because uh, we had moments where the wild animals seem at the door. You have a, a, a car accident. Um, out of the blue, you um, encounter someone who is just uh, so angry and you don't know why, and they seem angry at you and it's not your fault. Um, you look forward to a vacation and every little bit of the vacation becomes a, a complicated mess. Um, people get divorced, people declare bankruptcy. Um, we know what it's like to have the animals crawling at our door. We know, even if it's uh, staying awake at night and just staring at the ceiling with regret, we know. And that's why the Lion of Judah is so important. Because the Lion, being the king of the jungle, um, there's an indication that Jesus is greater than all those things. There's an indication that um, in this messed up world, which struggles each and every day. I, I, sometimes I'm in awe of how much uh, care God puts into this world and, and trying to set it right every day. Imagine the, the, uh, the Christians that are waking up this morning and trying to do the right thing, struggling against uh, wild animals, trying to get the world right in terms of compassion, in terms of care, in terms of love, in terms of justice. It's a mighty tall order. The wild animals are at the door. Yet the good news is that the king of the jungle, Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, is worthy to set things right. Love y'all. I miss y'all. Um, to have an exciting day with the outdoor service. I hope uh, I hope to see you soon. Blessings.